Today is my birthday. Whew. Wax. Today I turn 30. It's a big milestone and I wanted to make a video to reflect on my past, my present, and look forward towards the future. I also wanted a cupcake. The last 10 years have been an unbelievable journey. From graduating college, marrying Jenny, commissioning into the Air Force, I operated nuclear weapons, bought a house, I sold a house, we got our dream jobs as hurricane hunters, we started a furniture business of all things, and we're YouTubers now? I did none of those things I was expecting to do in my 20s. It was cram-packed full of stuff. My 20s started with uh, really the first thing I can remember, and that was graduating college. I had gotten a degree in weather, and I was really enjoying it, and I thought I was gonna be a weather officer in the Air Force, but at the last moment, I got orders to go to California to be a nuclear weapons officer, which I'll get to in a minute. But I spent a year in LA when I was 22. We were going all over LA. We were filming music videos, fashion shows, supercars. I was learning how to build websites for customers. I got to do some amazing things with my buddy Will and Shiv in California. This was the first time that my eyes were opened to what it looks like to be a business owner or an entrepreneur. After finishing up training for a year, I got married to my lovely wife, Jenny, which you all know, and we made our way up to North Dakota. There I was slated to be a nuclear missile officer. So you know the guy in the movies that sits in the underground bunker waiting on a call from the president to launch the nukes and it, basically in the world. Yeah, that was my job. It was a very cool job, but the hours were terrible. That job was literally sucking the life out of me. It was 36 hour shifts, so we'd be 36 hours on, 36 hours off, non-stop, unless you took vacation. But if you took vacation, they would, they would make your life miserable before you left and right when you came back. So it was a really toxic work environment with some, uh, some of the worst leaders I've ever seen, but that's for another time. So to keep myself occupied during my off days, uh, Jen and I uh, started woodworking. We started in our garage apartment with just a jigsaw and a drill and we started making furniture. Eventually, we bought a house and kept making furniture for that house. Around that time, we decided, hey, let's start a YouTube channel because that's how I learned woodworking. Maybe I can teach somebody else. And so that was the start of our YouTube channel. Well, it wasn't long until I turned 25 and then all of our friends who came over wanted furniture for themselves that I had built. So we started realizing that we had a business on our hands, which was scary because I am a nerd. I had never thought in a thousand years that I would be a business owner. So I went to the local library and I checked out every single book on sales that I could find. Cause sales, when I was a kid and I was in Boy Scouts and I'd have to sell popcorn to my neighbors, I would be literally, I would be in tears knocking on the door asking my friendly neighbors if they wanted to buy some popcorn. I was so petrified of money and sales and running a business. It just it did not interest me one bit. And to, to now have a furniture business in my lap and I'm accountable to it, it's just been such a crazy turn of events. So we started this business and with the YouTube channel, we knew we didn't want to stay in the military forever. And then one day Jenny gets an email. And this email says that our dream job in the military, which is with the hurricane hunters, we get to fly into the storm and collect data. We get to be around airplanes. We get to be around weather. We get to do nerdy stuff. We get to have fun. We get to travel all over the world. This was literally our dream job and they were hiring. And they must have been pretty desperate because they hired both me and Jenny at the same time and it's been an amazing journey ever since. So once we got the jobs and when I turned 26, we moved to Texas. 
The idea was that we were going to start the woodworking business and then work on training to become hurricane hunters slowly over time. Well then, a little something called the global pandemic of COVID-19 happened. And we were stuck in Mississippi and we couldn't make it home to start or run the woodworking business. So we just decided to live for a year in Mississippi and knock out all of our hurricane hunting training. This, by the way, was also the busiest hurricane season on record in 2020. So when we weren't flying through hurricanes, we were locked up with everybody else in our home and strategizing and scheming how we were gonna start the woodworking business all over again. So when I turned 28, we finally moved back to Houston and officially started the woodworking business again down in Houston. We had a new brand, a new name, a new product line, and a whole new strategy. No longer were we gonna sell custom furniture and one-off pieces, we wanted to sell lots of things. But we didn't know anyone in this huge city, fourth largest city in the US, and we didn't know anybody that lived here. So we made a product that would help people that knew everyone in the city, realtors. And you guys have seen all that progress. We've been selling cutting boards and charcuterie boards to realtors and other professionals for a couple of years now in Houston. And we've made a large chunk of change doing that. And now we're moving into building tables and starting to advertise to the general public. And that's getting really exciting. And then this year, as we're doing that, we finally learned the lesson that you have to take breaks. After bulldozing through several waves of absolute burnout, we finally learned the lesson that we need to take breaks. So we went to Mexico. We stopped uploading for a little bit. Sorry about that. But we went to Mexico. We learned how to surf. We got scuba certified. We swam with sharks. It was incredible. And the last thing we did that we just got back from was an Indian wedding. So remember my buddy Shiv from LA? He just got married. And if you've never been to an Indian wedding, it is such a cool, awesome, crazy. I don't even have the words. It's an amazing experience. It was so much fun. We were dancing in the street at 8 a.m. And then my closest friend in Missiles asked me to be his best man at his wedding this summer. I just, I can't get over how many incredible experiences I've had in my 20s. I'm so grateful for every single one of those experiences because I wasn't supposed to have any of them. My heart almost gave out when I was born. I'm not supposed to be here. So every single day that I have, I want to make sure I'm making the absolute most of it and I'm not wasting the gift that I have. But honestly, turning 30 has hit me pretty hard. It's just been emotionally hard for me to process because my 20s have been so amazingly full. And I'm worried that my 30s aren't going to be anywhere near as fun or as cool or as exciting or as, as high or as low as my 20s. But looking back, I had no idea any of this was going to happen. Not a clue. I resisted almost every single one of these things as it happened, but it turned out to be one of the most incredible experiences of my life. I can't wait to see what the next 10 years has to offer. It's not all going to be great. I know the 20s weren't all great. I know that I showed you the highlights. If you can read between the lines, there were some pretty tough moments along the way here. But now I can go into my 30s with a mindset that I didn't have in my 20s. If this is what happened when I'm trying to do everything my way and control my own life, if I step back and just focus on just knowing that life is about self-growth, loving others, and following our fears. If we do those three things, there's no way I can look back at the end of my 30s and be full of regret. So thank you for being part of my journey. Whether you've been watching for a day or 10 years, thank you. I could not do everything that I've done without your support. And speaking of support, if you've enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button, I'd really appreciate it. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for more adventures about what's ahead in my 30s.